Ha <laughs> ha! G'day, how you going? Welcome back for some more green and gold. Oh, what a corker of a morning for it, man. She's an absolute pearler. Mate, if you've got to be trapped on a shovel all day, I could think of worse times. Mate, it's, uh, it's just one of those beautiful winter mornings. It's, uh, it's a little bit chilly, but uh, the rain's mostly holding off for us. And, uh, mate, I couldn't think of any better time to be on the shovel. If you've got to be on a shovel, of course. <laughs> Rightio, so the objective for today is to get the trench open, the pipes uh, out and relayed, and then get it backfilled. So that's, uh, that's a tall order. You know, we've got about seven or eight metres worth of trench to dig, dig by hand. So we'll see how we get on. But uh, yeah, if it spills over into the next day, say la vie. Rightio, let's get into it, eh? Ah, alrighty. So I've got a few things to to clean up before we get started. So got a few fence panels there and all that sort of stuff. Uh, got a little bit of leftover gum tree litter that I need to clear up. <clears throat> so I'll get to that first. Then uh, I did want to separate out the limestone on top of the trench. And I was just going to stack it to the side alongside the fence so I could easily just push it back. But I haven't got enough real estate for that. So it's going to have to go in the wheelbarrow and I'm going to have to find a spot for it. So that's all right. It's a little bit more double handling than I would have hoped, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. All right, let's get into it, eh? Alrighty, it's time to start digging. So I'm probably gonna tuck away the crowbar for a little bit. I've got a few pipes and whatnot in this area that I don't need to disrupt with my crowbar. So I'm gonna tuck him away for a little bit. And uh, yeah, look, it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle, but you know, it's a bit wet, so it should be okay. I've got, um, I've got mains feed down here to, um, to supply water to the shed and whatever. I've also got a line going back up to the house for the rainwater. Um, and a few other things hiding away in there. So, um, yeah, just gotta be careful. Steady, steady as she goes. And, uh, yeah. Radio, time to put in the work. I'm having one of those, what were you thinking moments, man? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know when you see a photo of yourself 20 years ago and you're just like, man, what was I thinking? Anyway, so what I've done here is I've carried my first pipe from the, from the roof through here. I reckon it dog's legs there. And it'll probably be those ones just behind the blue line. My second pipe does another dog leg here and it'll come out and it'll probably be that one that goes off into the distance there. So that's how I was filling my rainwater tanks. Right down in here, you might not be able to see it, is the uh, 90 mil stormwater. It goes all the way down the bottom and out of my life. Then I've got some blue line here. So I've got two sizes. I've got 25 mil and 32 mil. Now I reckon the 25 mil is the supply from the house, like the mains pressure, down to here. Because uh, because of all of the pipe friction and stuff, I didn't need a whole bunch down here, so I only ran 25. I only really want to supply a couple of taps and that sort of thing, maybe the shed, that sort of thing. But I've put 32 all the way back up to the house because I need to maintain a good pressure from the pump uh, all the way up to the house. So it needs to overcome uh, the head difference and pipe friction to get it all the way up there. So I've gone a thicker diameter. 
Um, there should be a pipe crossing somewhere here to get me another tap over there, but I haven't found that one yet. So yeah, she's uh, it's almost looking like an Egyptian artifact here, man. <laughs> so uh, I've still got a little bit to go here. I am now going to go and grab some tucker because I'm cactus, man. I'm going to have a spell for a bit and then I'll come back here and finish off. Righto. <laughs> Alrighty, so she's the next morning, Monday morning, mate. What a corker of a day for it, I tell you. It's clear skies, mostly. <laughs> Great temperature and, uh, whew, mate, just a beautiful day to be outside. So, you might have noticed we had some technical difficulties because <laughs> it's the next day. So, basically, my camera ran out of charge and I was just like, I need to get this done, man. So, um, I finished up at about 7 o'clock last night digging the rest of the trench. So, uh, let's jump down there and have a look, eh? Alrighty, this is exactly what I was trying to avoid by doing it over these couple of days. Uh, a wet trench. Now, I shouldn't be surprised, man. It is winter time, so <laughs> it's probably all the dew and, and whatever collecting on the roof and, and finally making its way down here. So I shouldn't be upset or surprised. You know, can't, Dan. <laughs> anyway, I was out here till about 7 o'clock last night. Just had to push on. So uh, got the trench dug to depth all the way through to the pit and also... Um, by the downpipe here to the shed where we need to tie in for the rest of the for the rest of the drainage system. So we're gonna make a start now. <laughs> I'm gonna start by bailing this water out and trying to get it down to that pipe where uh, where it actually goes out. So I'll probably just use the shovel like an oar or something and just start encouraging the water down there. Radio, let's get to it, eh?
Alrighty. So uh, got all the water out of the trench, which is rad, and uh, got it all falling, which is nice. So now I've got my Aussie connector here. I'm going to put that on. That's going to join up that 100 mil to the next piece. And then um, we'll measure up a piece of pipe to fit where the tank goes and keep on keeping on. Battle. So it's been a long day. Um, you've probably missed a bit here and there. I've tried to capture as much as I can, but um, yeah, just need to get things done because we're, you know, it's half past three now and I'm miles behind schedule. So um, I've double checked and triple checked the invert of my pipe, so I should be sweet. There's no turning back after this man, eh? <laughs> Once you've got a hole in your pit, that's it. So here we go. Alrighty, so we're mostly done for the day, right? So uh, we got it all hooked up, your beauty. So uh, we're hooked on, hooked into the end there with an Aussie connector all the way up the end there, and bang, all the way down to this pit here, your beauty. That's all siliconed off, and uh, she should be sealed, ready to go. We also tied into the shed here. Hang on, let's see if we can 
negotiate this. We're also sealed into there. So um, we can see we've joined to down pipe and that's hooked into here. And I've got a 90 degree elbow that I stuffed a bit of rag in to, um, I mean, it's not to stop water as such, it's more to stop dirt and stuff filling back in once I backfill it. So um, we're gonna hook into that a little bit later, which is going to take the rest of the yard. So you can see it's made uh, it's made quite a difference. You know, we're down sort of that 500 mil mark. So yeah, got plenty of fall there to try and catch some of this water that's collecting in the yard. So uh, yeah, now all I gotta do is backfill. So I reckon I'll be skipping the gym this week. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, I reckon I might try and get that all sussed for, um, for this week so I can hook up the tanks and whatnot next weekend. So. Reckon I'll be skipping the gym and just uh, backfilling over the week, I think. So that sounds like a plan. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. You guys do me a wicked mad favor. Take it easy. I'll chat you wrong.